everyone, we're back. Let's see. We can beat Vampire tonight. Hop in. Um, Ribbit. Society of Leopold. We've got some vampire guys to kill a lot of. <laughs> the Society of Leopold. Leopold. Isn't he that fruity lion that kept letting everyone kick him around? Assume I'm going the right way. Oh no, there's a guy. I should probably sneak up on him. A couple guys. So there's a guy on the right, then. That was silly of me. Should have just went in with obfuscate on. No, I've got to be clever.
these guys. This isn't what I was thinking of when they said, like, witch hunters. Expecting, like, guys with... what, did I... Did I touch the rock? What the hell are you going? Where is he going? Find that person we're looking for. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in that. That I might overcome. Yeah, whatever.
So we've set the charges. I keep forgetting my commentate. We've set the charges to go off when humans go through them. Instead of us. Won't that be fun, guys? Brother Grenfell seems particularly uneasy this evening. Yes, McCoy has begun to move more openly, and Brother Grenfell grows impatient. Ah, yes, McCoy. As always, Brother Grenfell focuses only on his old nemesis. Let us hope his fanaticism best serves the interests of our order, and not merely his own unresolved grievances. Journal, uh, GB. We have tracked LaCour to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with Hellspawn. Uh, minions of the Vampire, we know, is Alistair Grout. We have been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ancaran Sargophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on the artifact. Its arrival, convenient or seems convenient, in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings came to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems a great unrest in the among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor care not. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the father's. And current sarcophagus was stolen today from the Natural Museum of Natural from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it. And the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know now that these may well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night, of his hideous visage burned in ash in a great inferno. May it be that this vision is a vision given to me by God, and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Krieger reported a disturbance at the Vampire Coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party, and that something interrupted their fleshy rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. Made the demons feed on themselves until we rid the world of their evil. I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening, and I know not of their origin. But I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he is fearful the apocalypse is upon us, and my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and will fight for righteousness until I'm no longer able. I took Johannesson from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I'm convinced that LaCroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge of the, how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. Shh. Are you mad? Happy guy. Brother Grunfeld will not tolerate such insubordination. Hold your tongue. You know upon whose direct authority he acts? Yes, I know. 